Hi guys, time for another bargain store project. Picked up these thermo plates, it calls them, polystyrene um, plates, a pack of 20 for a pound. Gonna have another go at trying to make a hovercraft. Uh, I've made a few, but they haven't been particularly successful, so I just fancy having another go. I want one that will actually work all on its own uh, without me having to connect an external power supply. The problem with them is as soon as you add the weight of a motor and a battery they don't lift off the ground. And I think that might be down to the um, fan blade I've been using. So I'm going to make a fan blade of my own and see if that will improve the thrust. Just counted round the segments. It's got 36 segments, so I've counted round 9, 18, 27, 36, and drawn across to find my centre. As it's 36 segments, I've also counted round 6 at a time and marked some lines in so I can actually make 6 blades for my propeller or fan blade. Right, I set my dividers up to three inches. I've drawn a circle using the center point and I'm now cutting it out so that I've got a hole for the air to blow in and also I shall use this disc of polystyrene to make the fan blade. Right. I've marked up my blades, I shall now cut them out. Right, what I've done is I've cut from there up to that point. That's my leading edge. And then on the trailing edge, it's just that bit. I'm actually going to use a biro or a ball pen to score along there so I'm not actually cutting through it and then that will actually bend up like that and I'll actually run some hot glue along there to hold it in place but it'll actually sit that way up so it's it's down in relation to where the motor will be sitting. Right, I'm putting a line of hot glue along that score mark and then bending it up. To make the right shape. Right, I've cut out a few centre pieces just to thicken it up because the idea is I shall just hot glue the shaft of the motor straight into the middle. Right, I've just cut another plate up to give me a, a mounting bracket to get the motor to the middle. Right then, let's see if we can get any movement. Yep, we've actually finally got some movement with a self-contained hovercraft. It's not moving much, but that is definitely off the ground and moving. I've just spent a bit of time there trying to lighten the fan blade a bit. And I've chamfered the edges of the blades as best I can with my knife. Don't know if that will improve things or not, but uh, I'll just give it a try. Right then, just charged up my batteries. Sticky tape them together with a bit of tension on them to hold them tight. You may notice I've put an extra few struts on here to stiffen it a bit. So, 
let's give it a try. Yep, there we go. We are definitely off the ground. Just move back a little bit. Oh, stick my fingers in it, doesn't work very well. And if I lift the batteries off so it hasn't got the weight, it flies away. If only I could find some lighter batteries. I'm quite pleased with that. Not really pleased, but quite pleased. We have at least got some motion. Oh. <laughs> well, we'll call it a day there. Need to hot glue that back on again. Just moving. Yeah, it's definitely floating on air. If I give it a blow, it moves a bit. But it's struggling. It's only just got enough power. 